your names into uh, a vase. Well, it's, a, it's in a vase, at least, now. Uh, and uh, we're going to randomly pick someone to come down. We're going to interview you about a fucked up relationship that you might have had. And then uh, we're going to do improv off that for like 20 minutes. Come in. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and then uh, for the second half, we have a second half now, which is like a little different. So if we call your name, just sit uh, in your seat and we'll uh, ask you for like a two sentence summary on uh, like the most fucked up thing that has happened in your relationship, right? Sound good? You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, so can we get, a, can we get a, a drum roll going for our... Like, uh, motor. <coughs> What's that? Um, I don't know. 
motor? Like, bike? Like, oh, like motorcycle. But motorcycle, yes. Oh, that's really like that, so I couldn't do it. And then you like to watch movies, but movies I have uh, already watched. <laughs>
like to go. You don't have to be here anymore. I, I, I get it. I mean, if you can't come out of the cage. Yeah, yeah. sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Francis, what, what's his name? Francois? Francois. <laughs> <laughs> Your name was Francois. You never gave us your name. Hey, I'm such a pretty dog. That's a man. Oh, oh man. Hey. Can I um, use your cell phone to call for more dudes to come? With us? Uh, nice, more men. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Before I let you guys, I need to know if you're gonna kill. <laughs> kill it. Why would I kill it? That's all I need to know. You. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's great. That's all. Do I need to sign anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, just adoption papers. Just, just like put down Pitbull, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a human man. Well, we don't have it on the on the you documents. Are. Okay, I'm so sorry. So we. You guys want a beer? Before we get, I would love it, beer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do you have any food and water, perhaps, that have been in that cage for me? Making me feel bad for keeping you captive. Well, it was unfair. I came in here with a job application, and I ended up in a cage. And I <laughs> you want to be a, a, a caretaker of dogs, you got to act and learn to be a dog. I just don't think it's fair. I thought I was going to take them for walks, and instead I lived in a cage. Good. I came in here for a dog, and I left with a man. <laughs> <laughs> today that you sent me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. I'm fine. You're great. Okay. <laughs> love you so much. Um, so, I love you. Hey, hey, I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. And also, okay. uh, <laughs> this is uh, just like such a lengthy description of parking, <laughs> which like, yeah. Here's the thing. Okay. You line it up right next to the car. You uh -huh. turn your wheel. Uh -huh. But then you think to yourself, is it turn too far? This clock? is so funny because this is exactly <laughs> yeah. what the text is. Verbatim. Yeah, verbatim. Wow. The thing is, I wanted to get your feelings around how you felt about it, you know? About your parking experience? I said, it I lined it up. <laughs> Real tight. I know. Do you think it was too tight? And I said, I'm in a meeting, and you said, you were so mad. You sent so many mad messages after that. Um, and then more descriptions of parking. Who could that be? Excuse me, it's just me, your neighbor. I was just looking outside, and that is the best goddamn parking job I've ever seen. <laughs> Magical. Can I tell you? Yeah. I lined it up really tight. Oh, did you? Yeah, I lined it up tight, and I wasn't oh. sure. You know who I texted? Who'd you text? My goddamn wife didn't hear back. <laughs> oh, that is criminal. That's right. me. Did you know that's me? Oh, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> so, someone at your back door. Patio. Hi, I'm the president of the United States. Oh, I was flying in Air Force One, and I saw a beautiful parallel park shot. <laughs> 80,000 feet in the air. Tell you what, I wasn't sure at first. I lined it up real tight, and I wasn't sure. Majestic. Can I offer anybody coffee? <laughs> There's someone at the second door. <laughs> hey. Hi, uh, I'm with the Nobel Committee. <laughs> oh my god, because of my chemistry? Because of my it's, major advancements? It's always chemistry. about her chemistry. Hey. Oh, um, no, no, no. no. I, I, saw, I saw a beautiful parking job outside. <laughs> it defied the laws of physics. Oh. And uh, we have this Nobel Prize for physics. I'm the president. I'm so much more important than you. <laughs> Does anybody care that I'm the president? I'm so sorry. Can I give you coffee cake? I no, I don't need it. I'm cool. Can I ask you something? I can make a lot on my own, you know. Could you just hush down for a second? <laughs> How could you tell that it was me that parked that car? How could you tell it was me? You came in to hand me that. How could you tell it was me? Uh, I saw I saw you walk inside. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep. daughter. Yep. <laughs> I decided we should watch a movie tonight. Mix things up a bit. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I love that. Movie night. Movie night. That's fun. Right. Gremlins one and Gremlins two. Done. Fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> All we do is watch Gremlins. We love Gremlins. It's all that we watch these days. There's so much else out there. Dad, we've seen that movie every Friday. Look what you're doing to your every daughter. Every Friday. Look at what you're doing to her. I haven't even seen Mean 
Mean Girls. I haven't even caught up to the 90s or the 2000s yet. Let your daughter watch Mean Girls, Scott. <laughs> Look, if we watch Gremlins enough, maybe they'll make an expanded universe. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. Yes. Love of my life. Yes, I love you. I will not watch Gremlins again. I will die if I watch Gremlins again. Do you understand? I will die. I get it. Okay. Relax. Yeah. I feel the same way. Thank you. Okay. Tracy feels the same way. Okay. What about tonight? Maybe we go out to see a movie. Because, yeah. because there's all sorts of movies out. Yeah. And that's good. And Something new. Theater. Something new. Welcome to the movie theater. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> we haven't been in, uh, what, six years since we've seen Three the tickets Gremlins? for Gremlins, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's classic movie night tonight. What the fuck? It's too <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'll be ten dollars. This please, is gonna be great. We're please, gonna see it. please. Hey, Brad. Yeah. You way undercharged that family for three tickets. <laughs> Ten dollars for three tickets? That means we divide by three. No, it doesn't, Brad. Oh, shit. What happened to the extra penny? You idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got excited. Somebody actually came. <laughs> you know, this theater hasn't been doing very well. We've been trying all sorts of promotions, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't want you to fuck up anymore. <laughs> I'm a total fuck up. I'm it's sorry. ludicrous what happened last I week. I just get so excited when somebody shows up. I'm like, uh, I paid the last guy. <laughs> you paid a guy to see a movie in our theater? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck up. I just get so excited sometimes. This is a traveler's check. <laughs> yeah, you can cash it, yeah. and you can see gremlins while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely. Would you like a soda? Of On the house. <laughs> That's amazing. No ice. Oh. One of those guys. <laughs> Yeah. 
You're a, huh. you're a science man. That is how a white Russian was made. <laughs> <laughs>
boyfriend. <laughs>
done of it, but um, close. So there was this guy that I met at work. Uh -huh. We got drunk, blacked out, yeah. and woke up the next day and told me that he was married, three children, oh. working for the same company as me, and he would like me to work on his team. <laughs> Shred the gnar. Yes, yes, good, yes. 
as your president, I will make every state a skate park. <laughs> and I will solve the crisis in Egypt. Is there a crisis in Egypt? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You fucked up your instructions. Uh. I accidentally made Egypt a skate park. <laughs> <laughs> you turned the pyramids upside down. No, no I that, that checks out. Yeah. If you did it right, that you, might... can, you can ride out of the Sphinx's mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad. Bob Bernquist did it yesterday. Oh. Your Secretary of State, Bob Bernquist. <laughs> How does Sean White do it, Mike? Mike? Another position in the government. Uh, he's health and human services, and he, uh, he's doing good. <laughs> My Mr. President, uh, she's doing some health and human services, Dad. Thank got you, it. Sean. Yeah. Got it, Jenny! Sean, come on, we're, we're officials now. You can't be giving me the fingers, okay? Hey, man, you talk shit. That's President Hawk to you. <laughs> Are you high right now? Yeah. Oh, come on. I'm held in human services. I got a bong the size of my head. Plus my afro. I was going to say, that's not a very big bong. It's a small, tiny bong, Sean. Dude, come on, Johnny. God damn, man. You used to love that thing. You used to ride people up and down. What are you saying, Sean? <laughs> Governor Gordon, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but the, um, the President of the United States is calling for you to be given a swirly. <laughs> He's got all sorts of cruel middle school things that he wants us to do to you. It's insane. I, I, I have work to do. What is it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is, this is sort of just what he does. No. No. I'm so sorry, sir. And thank you, by the way, for everything that you did uh, with all of the hey, tax reform. Hey, could you mind taking a knee? Why? Be easy. This could be. This hard. is insane. Well, can, can we call the police? Well, the police are Tony Hawk now. All of them? I mean, they're all wearing the same outfits. Excuse me. I just have news from President Tony Hawk. <laughs> Come on in. He's got nuclear. Oh shit. With an atomic wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, keep doing what you're doing. All right. <laughs> please, please, please. I'm Bucky Lassick, out. <laughs> He's also demanded that nobody attend your ska band's upcoming concert. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's gonna... All right. I don't, I don't actually like this. No, you shouldn't. You gotta make money somehow. Hey, we're yeah, right. that. Okay. Three. All right. <laughs> You know, I wanted to be a painter. Really? Yeah. We're almost at one more. This is beautiful. It's really stunning. And you're dropping out? No. You're dropping out. You know, you make a lot more money in toilets. <laughs> I, I snow, I draw what's in my heart, though, you know? The mountains, the clouds, we're never going to see another. Yeah, the mountains and clouds are in my heart because I went camping last weekend. I don't have a visual. I draw what I see, you know? Look, man, I'm so sorry to do yeah. this, but I recently took a new job, and I need you to get on your knees and get back to <laughs> in my bathroom. You noticed that? I did. It was a yeah. toilet paper sculpture and a huge shampoo to create further texture. I just want to, um, I just want to thank you for um, turning the house into art. You know what that sculpture was of? That's a, a mold of myself in the woods. What? I have recently gone camping. <laughs> I go camping on the weekends. You know, you I don't know if everyone says this to you. You should be an artist. You'd like to show oh, up sure. an artist. <laughs> you, want, you want to see something neat? Always yes? <laughs> if you take this banana uh -huh, and, you, and you set it on top, do you mind if I touch your Please cups? Please touch right. anything, yeah. <laughs> you There's set this plates banana. over here. Do you want, I have just like a pitcher of water? Sorry, you go on. <laughs> Water would be great. Oh, you got it. Yes, of course. Um, whatever you need. 
whatever helps hold up. Yeah, yeah. sure. <clears throat> if you take this banana and you place it just, just you take off the field. Oh my god, right away as soon as you do that, I'm like remembering my upbringing. It was like a farm situation. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on there. Oh my god, my mother! I just had a memory come back of my mother. Oh, I was, I was gone. Ma'am, you you are emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, yeah, I think we uh, I think we gotta fire that plumber. No, no, yeah. no Stephen, please no. The I bathroom is covered in wet no. toilet paper. You want to call you want to call wet toilet paper? Well, come over here. I small car crash the other a couple years ago. It's just a little fender bender. But you remember how mad I was? Yes, it's done a lot of damage to your head. And, and to our and marriage. And you're seeing things where they, they, they... But look, look how she sort of spiraled the... the, the, the uh, it's a, it was a two-ply, but she, she did separate it. <laughs> And you ran into my motorcycle! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! You hit the side of it. <laughs> Probably hit some sort of the engine of some sort. The I, back part, the back part. I, it seems like you know a lot about cars. Can you figure out, because now obviously this thing won't start. Can you try to help me with my... Help you with your vehicle? car after you hit my... my Please, my I'm so sorry. I have to go pick up my daughter and it's clear... That was on a driving test. You can see over there the guy's watching me. Oh. Hey, he looks so mellow. Cool Hawaiian shirt. Um, <laughs> So I'm so sorry. Of course I'll pay for for whatever's necessary. But could you just look under the hood of my car and see something went sort of? Wild? Can already tell it's the probably the carburetor. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just tell you me. You gotta I'm... turn it on the front. <laughs> you know what I mean? Will you help? Will you do it? And marry while you're doing it? Hey, can I? He's too far away. He gets it. You just <laughs> you just fix it all. Hey. Yeah. Are you okay though? Uh, oh you my feel god. Like, I feel like you might have hit your head. Also, I hit my head on the pavement. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm I'm fine. I, something went wrong, and I just <laughs> something went wrong. <laughs> yes. What went wrong? I don't know. Every, all the like, steering went wrong. I was well. I was. I'll show you. If you want to get in the car. Oh yeah, I'll get in the car. Um, I was um. It's all buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> I was um I was steering and then one of the lights went off and then I pressed the brakes but the brakes didn't go and then three more lights and you're a car expert so yeah. maybe you can tell yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody called the cops said there was an accident oh yeah <laughs> this um oh sorry it's were a, you yeah so you just stayed in the car since the accident no I hit him on the bike but he was gonna give me some automobile advice <laughs> so you both got back into the car together can I explain something to you <laughs> yeah my motorcycle has two wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit on the side, all right? <laughs> Fell down, hit my head. Something's wrong with it, okay? And then something went wrong for me. I'm pretty sure it's the carburetor in both situations. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, we got the results from your x-ray. Okay. Turns out it was the carburetor. <laughs> I don't know how it's physically possible, but... What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> hit the ground so hard, your head got merged with the carburetor. <laughs> Now your brain is running on carbonation. <laughs> That's exactly how I thought it worked. <laughs> science is fucking nuts, man. I've been drinking a lot. You're clearly a medical expert. Can you explain just sort of moment for moment what'll happen during this pregnancy? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. First you'll get pregnant somehow. Oh, check. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, medicine. Is, no, medicine is no laughing matter in your. How did you get pregnant? How did you get pregnant? I'm so sorry, I can't tell if you're like doing a if you're doing a joke. <laughs> you mean it? We got the x-rays back. She <laughs> didn't know you had x-rays, did you? <laughs> we I feel like that's not good for <laughs> like fetal development. Are you challenging my drug? Never my in my life, I was never. Well, the first thing, if you could take a look, first thing that's going to happen to you is you're going to turn into a baby yourself. What? <laughs> so, look here, I'm going to teach you about the birds and the bees, okay? Yes. Here, I'm going to take this large tarp, throw it right here. Now there's something happening under there. <laughs> We're not sure what's going on under the tarp, Pop. It's rustling. Pop comes out, you're a baby now. Oh, my God. Trust me. I'm, would your father lie to you? No. Okay, here's the I'm ready for medical school, Dad. <laughs> you put a hose, you start the hose. Alright. Put water in the tarp, Dad? Yeah. This is sex, son. Get ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a lot like my slip 
can slide down. That's true. Remember oh. that. <laughs> it's all fun. All right? You're going to need this someday when you leave us all and go off to medical school, okay? Okay, thanks, Dad. And I'm still sad about that, but I'm also proud of you, okay? <laughs> Dad, I'm just so glad you gave up your career as being a crocodile wrestler <laughs> so that I could go to medical school. It was, well, you know, it was when you were born, first I became a baby again. <laughs> I said, I need to sacrifice for this boy because he's mine. You I don't know? know why you quit in order for me to go to medical school. But... Because if I were out there crocodiles, how am I supposed to teach you what you need to know to leave town? Which is all this tarp stuff. <laughs> Look, I don't care how good of a doctor you are. <laughs> your methods are unorthodox and you don't know how babies are made. <laughs> but did you see the tarp in the hose? <laughs> I did. We've had complaints. We've had infections spreading throughout the hospital. If you weren't so damn good, I'd fire you. <laughs> well, we got the x-rays back. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you, but you're pregnant. <laughs> How's that possible? I'm the dean of this hospital. <laughs> well, Dr. House, <laughs> anything's possible. I remembered my cane. <laughs> now look, it's not going to be easy getting this baby out of you, given that you don't have a vagina. <laughs> but if you push hard enough, you can cut out your pee hole one piece at a time. <laughs> That was my first bespoke poem. <laughs> children at home crying, you're drunk. <laughs> to bring up that I'm drunk all the time? I don't see how that has to do with it. I feel like it's contributed. You have a little rum and buttermilk and you lose your mind. <laughs> the sour of the buttermilk goes perfectly with the sweet of the rum. So you're telling me that if I milk this cow yep. while he's hung over... Oh, fuck! <laughs> And if you pour Aunt Jemima on his back, buttermilk comes out. Oh, I'll give it a try. And then, with rum. Listen, listen, though, tell me, though. Oh. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> I was out so late last night. Isn't there a way to do this to the cow without turning them into a part, like a party animal? <laughs> I think I'm bleeding from the mouth. You are? Oh, I, have a, I have a weird cold. 
You haven't, you haven't noticed that I've taught the cow how to speak. <laughs> oh, Pa, I'm so sorry. I'm it's so just it was a great accomplishment. You said. No, you did a really good job. No, I'm so sorry. It's just you've been making all of these amazing mixed drinks, and I'm certain that once we finally, you know, get to California, that we'll open up a bar or something. <laughs> the Dust Bowl's been hard to all of us. Um, Jaeger's been hard for me. You know how hard it is for me to cow taking a shot? I feel like I'm Cooks can't even hold a shot glass. See, if, I feel it's like a you're miracle. Going to abuse the cattle this way, maybe giving them the power of speech was actually like harder. What is it harder? I don't even know how I got in the bar. I don't even have an ID. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, what can I get you? I'd like a sh I would like a, a shot of Jaeger. <laughs> Bottom or top shelf? <laughs> I'm a cow, I don't know what that means. Whatever one makes me forget about being milked every day. Laugh that way the chickens and the dogs. The horses, they make fun of me. Tough, tough break, man. You <laughs> are. Look, I'm not your therapist. You want your shot. You ever eat a, a hamburger before? That's what I made up, man. A lot. Okay, look, most people have eaten hamburgers. Some of the bitch they have. Yes, we serve them on the menu. I'm sorry. I've never seen past the walls of the farm. You know, <laughs> I've seen those eyes before. I've been drinking at this bar for 47 years. I've seen those eyes. Those he rents eyes. a room from me. <laughs> there's, there's some pain behind those eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of He pain. doesn't mean he's seen your eyes. He means he's seen eyes like yours. He knows your story. You it's a thing. You need to have eyes? Go ahead. You need, to, you need to get out of here. What? Yeah, you need to go to California. Yeah. I told you, wait until it tastes for his alcohol before you do the thing. I got a jalopy outside, just for you. You can get in the back. We're going to California. Hey, here's this job. So can, you buy, can you buy your drink first? First of all, I don't know what a jalopy is because I'm a cow. It's a, it's a car that doesn't work very well, as far as I can tell. You have to turn in the front. I'd love to pay for my drinks, but I forgot my wallet. In my, I, Get a scotch, please. Yes. <laughs> Bottom or top shelf? I don't know the difference. I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs>